When you're on your own, you have to choose your companions very carefully. And there's nobody outside to talk to, you talk to yourself. And who are you talking to? And the Buddha says we tend to take craving as our companion. And of course, when you hang around craving a lot, you're going to start seeing things in line with your cravings. Try to take the breath as your companion instead. Now, at first, craving is going to get in the way, it's saying you should breathe this way, you should breathe that way. You can make yourself really miserable by the way you breathe, putting too much pressure on the breath, having too many preconceived ideas of where the breath should go and how it should feel. Try to clear the, clear the decks and ask yourself, what would feel really good right now? and see how the breath responds. And then you can nudge it in different directions to experiment. It's through the experimentation that you get to really see it. And you also see areas where the craving is beginning to come in. It's jealous that you've got a new friend. And you just have to learn how to be really alert to that. Because the breath can be really reliable. When you're sick, you can breathe in ways that, at the very least, alleviate the pain, and give you some place to focus beside the pain. When your mood is down, you can breathe in a way that lifts the mood. When you're getting a little bit too scattered and frenzied, okay, it can calm you down. But as with any friendship, it's going to take time. As the Buddha said, you don't really know a person until you've spent time with that person and been really observant. So the same principle applies with the breath. Spend time with the breath. Be patient. And you find that you're not alone. And John Lee makes a comparison. He says that with all the elements in the body, you've got the breath, you've got warmth, you've got coolness, you've got solidity. You can start talking to them. At first, they're not going to answer very much, but then they'll give you a grudging answer here and there. But then they see they can rely on you more, they trust you more, and then they begin to open up. Then he says, you can have real conversations. So have some conversations in this area of form, the pleasure that can be gained from just focusing on form in and of itself, the form of the body as you feel it from within. let all your other old companions go. They've been helpful in some cases, but they've been a lot of trouble in others. But if you learn how to be a good friend with your breath, the breath will be a good friend for you. So when you're alone, you're not really alone. You've got a really good companion. <laughs>